Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Omnipotus. He made his first appearance in Invincible, issue number 27, that was released in November of 2005. He also goes by the aliases The World Shaper and Destroyer of Worlds. Being a male of an extra-dimensional species that stands 12 feet tall and weighs 2,800 pounds, having gray eyes and gray skin, with distinctive spikes on his head and knuckles. Now, Omnipotus has a very fitting name, having extremely high power levels due to his unlimited ability to absorb energy, having vast superhuman strength, reflexes, and durability, with upper limits that are completely unknown but potentially infinite, being able to easily overpower Viltrumites such as Invincible and entire superhuman teams simultaneously. Now, it's not just his raw physical attributes that make him so powerful. He uses absorbed life force and cosmic energy to exhibit powerful reality warping abilities. He can reshape matter and energy to whatever he wills, as well as altering space and time itself. Having such a control over these psionic abilities that he's been shown to be able to create constructs and even imbue created automatons with their own life force. To sum it up, Omnipotus is basically omnipotent with his only weakness seeming to be that he was overly confident in his abilities, despite not actually being charged enough to be completely invulnerable. Now, it's understood that with his unique ability and his never-ending quest for more and more power, he ended up absorbing all of the cosmic and life energy in his native universe. But since his power levels can dwindle and need to be recharged periodically, he sought out new prey, entering into our dimension using a large warp ship that was guided by a powerful artifact known as a warp key. He arrived on Earth with the intention of destroying and remaking our universe. And once he started wrecking shop, he was met by a barrage of heroes, including the Guardians of the Globe, Capes Inc., and several other government-sponsored and freelance heroes. They had an epic battle, and despite Omnipotus being somewhat weakened due to his long journey between dimensions, he seemed to be beating them all. But what Omnipotus didn't notice is that Tech Jacket and some others had infiltrated his ship and managed to copy the warp drive device that powered it, with robots then being able to recreate its properties and subsequently opening a dimensional rift behind him during their fight. Yet all the heroes still wouldn't be powerful enough to push him back through the breach. And if it weren't for Black Samson, who had emerged from his month-long coma, being supercharged from not using his powers, no one would have been able to push him back to his original dimension. We'd next see Omnipotus when he briefly fought against Invincible, who had temporarily been sent to other realities by the villainous Angstrom Levy. But a time later, we would see Omnipotus finally make his way back to Earth, this time arriving under the radar and taking months to drain energy to power himself up. And although he wasn't fully powered when he decided to make his presence known this time, he was already much more powerful than the first time and made even quicker work of the superheroes. The only thing that stopped this nearly all-powerful villain this time was the arrival of Invincible and Dinosaurus, who gave it their absolute all working together against him. And although Omnipotus seemed to be getting the upper hand on them as well, his overconfidence would lead to him dismissing the threat that Dinosaurus posed, which allowed his cunning foe to sneak up behind him and lay a powerful bite onto his head, which caused a monumental explosive release of energy and seemingly destroyed Omnipotus for good. Now, due to his powers and abilities and his influence on the Image Comics universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Omnipotus a rating of 8, which is an unforgettable rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.